2NURFM, a broadcast service of the University of Newcastle. And uh, this morning we've got a, a very interesting uh, young gentleman that's joined us this morning. His name is Mario Minicello and he works in the art of uh, visual journalism and uh, I guess reportage illustration. And uh, for those who might not be familiar, Mario, to start with, can you take us through what that art medium is actually all about? So I think it started originally because they were sending people to the war zones. They were sending people into wars to record them. Um, and so eventually that became one of the mainstays of reportage. Um, then during the Second World War, um, in order not to have all of the artists in Britain killed in the, the, the Second World War conflict as they were in the First World War, um, basically they devised a way of keeping artists as part of the national scheme of mass observation um, and so reportage came about as a medium of recording everyday life. Um, it's then transposed now into being sent into areas where a camera, when you, when you take a photograph you put a camera to your face, you actually hide your face. You can't ex really get round the fact that you're, um, people feel you're stealing their parts of their lives so that wonderful phrase everyone hates a tourist when <laughs> really people hate a tourist who is benefiting and with basically when I've been sent into difficult areas or or even into things like courtrooms or or parliament in Britain which was not televised uh, a while back um, it's difficult to be offended by a, a large gentleman with a crayon you, you look vaguely stupid um, the, the results are when you do go into some of these areas, it's the children come and sit next to you and then they start drawing with you, which kind of diffuses the impact of it. But, you know. That's, that's very interesting. So, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, like you said, it's not like somebody there just with a camera just no. taking that literal snapshot. No. Um, it is a way of sort of capturing something over a longer period of time. Yeah, it is mm. like the, uh, I think you're right. I mean, it is the, if you like, if it was food, it's the slow food. And we know slow food is better for you than fast food, although we all enjoy fast food. Uh, and also it's playful um, because people always kind of laugh at what you're doing. They, they you know, if you're drawing a picture of uh, someone, even a warlord, um, people will kind of sit behind you and, and, and giggle and say, you know, he's got your big nose. Or um, uh, There are things we've drawn that are more challenging as well, and sometimes that, that's been one of the impacts of what we do. Uh, I think I've said before that, you know, if you write an article, it takes time to read, absorb and download it. A, a, an illustration is like a visual summary, uh, an executive summary of, of the ideas. And it's so emotionally impactful, people react. And so some of this stuff you'll see at the exhibition and, uh, sorry, at the launch tonight and in the book, a subsequent book, is where people have actually reacted to it. So you have spent a long time working in this medium. You were in uh, the BBC working there for a yes. while as well. Um, we, what would be some, probably the most impactive story that you can tell from your career where you were there capturing something that is, wow, this is an event that's happening right now? Oh, well, I think there's, um, in terms of the, uh, in terms of Parliament, there were several things, including um, Minister's resignations, um, Margaret Thatcher's fall from grace. You were there when that was happening? I was there mm. when I was sent in to do some drawing, which was really difficult. Um, I also uh, was uh, at, um, in court, I went to Spycatcher, which uh, really had a far bigger impact, mm. worldwide impact than I thought. The work was syndicated around the world. Um, there were several objections to certain high court judges being drawn not in caricature, I'm not a caricaturist, but perhaps suggesting that they weren't entirely on top of their game. And the other one was, uh, the one in court was the old Bailey. Uh, and then there's, um, I think the most shocking one for me was, was doing drawings around Bosnia and the Bosnian conflict, because Bosnia was Yugoslavia. We all used to go on holiday to Yugoslavia, and we, as I said before, mm. and another time that, that we, we all thought Yugoslavia was settled, that there wasn't any conflict. And what's so depressing is how quickly it descended into mayhem and barbarism. Unfortunately, that is what happens around the world from mm. time to time, but you were obviously mm. there to capture some of that and uh, yeah. some of those other big moments as well, including the, the fall of the Iron Lady mm. and many other events as well. Yeah. But it should be a fantastic launch tonight. Good luck with the book, and thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you so much.